On November 23rd, 2021, Roblox filed a $1.6 million lawsuit against a YouTuber named Ruben Sim. It alleges that the creator was the leader of a cyber mob that injured both the company and its users. The document fixates on three specific arguments, his supposed targeted harassment, hacking of the game, and most seriously, issuing of terroristic threats. Roblox sues YouTuber Ruben Sen for temporarily shutting down the 2021 Roblox Developers Conference with a fake Yeah, Roblox, the multi-billion dollar company, is suing a YouTuber for $1.6 million. As crazy as those news sounds, unfortunately it is real. Roblox Corporation had previously sued YouTuber Rubinson for $1.6 million. And yeah, it sounds pretty crazy, but I think in order to understand how all this happened, we need to go back a long, long time ago. Ruben Sim, real name Benjamin Simon, is a Roblox YouTuber, but he's a bit different because he is, you know, rated PG-13. He makes a bunch of, you know, a bit more mature content on Roblox, different from, you know, what the popular Roblox YouTubers are in the G and PG rated category. Uh, he does use some edgy humor and stuff like that, and he does have some controversial jokes made within the Roblox community. One of the biggest known achievements that he has done for the community was actually an incident that happened with a Roblox YouTuber called Mr. Obvious, who was actually very popular within the platform, and he actually won a Bloxy award from Roblox themselves. However, it turned out that he was actually a bad person uh, within using Discord to do very, very inappropriate stuff that I just don't really want to talk about in this video. They are trying to sue uh, a Roblox YouTuber like Ruben Sim. But however, he has done some questionable things as a viewer uh, who watched some of his content before uh, before and after this lawsuit. And I can confirm that the only stuff that he has done wrong is trying to cheat the bans that Roblox has done to him because they claim that he has done some stuff on platform. Even though technically speaking, the bans are kind of unjustified. So I don't know how this will or how it went out in court really. Basically, he has kind of a bad relationship with Roblox themselves, specifically the moderation team, specifically because he actually exposed a Roblox user by the name of Noble Dragon, who was using their Twitter account to look at some very, um, how do I describe this? I don't know, very inappropriate art stuff. And they actually got mad, so then he got put on Roblox's naughty list forever. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty much getting banned by moderators. Like, they were still salty even like what, three years after the incident. Yeah, it's pretty crazy to think about. Also, he had a popular series called Roblox Watch where he would just make satire jokes about Roblox, but then go out to point out the actual faults that Roblox has done with the platform. And a lot of his jokes, unfortunately, were at moderation, specifically Noble Dragon himself, as he claims. But then I would go on to actually criticize his decision. And I did this with a lot of things. I would explain what was happening, make a joke about it, and then I would argue why it's wrong. But Bob works at Roblox as the head of moderation. And a lot of my jokes and a lot of my criticism was directed at moderation. So Bob and his team of mods got together and started banning me. And they banned every single account that I created just because it was mine. So obviously Ruben Sim is just a bit different from the Roblox YouTubers and I mean, not, I guess it's fine with me basically because, you know, there's different types of people and I don't really have a big deal with um, just making a few jokes like that because really he's just trying to help the platform out. That's what he's trying to do. Yes, he does have some edgy jokes and some controversial ones, but overall he's not really as bad as Roblox is really trying to frame him. And obviously... This is one thing that kind of looks bad in Roblox's favor is the fact that they're kind of going after, what, a troll, I guess? I don't know. That just seems kind of suspicious. But I think now it's time that we go over or at least look at Ruben Sim's response video to part one. And we're going to look at the lawsuit itself. So here is a document from Roblox themselves. Uh, this took place in California. And yeah, they accuse him of a lot of things. So it starts off saying defendant Benjamin Robert Simon or Simon is the leader of a cyber mob that has caused trouble within Roblox to harm its users. Um, okay, so violating the TOS 
I don't think that's that big of a deal. I mean, it's just the terms of service. It's not like it's illegal for that kind of stuff. So after all the inappropriate picture claimed, they say that he broke the terms of service outside the platform, but that's just a bit suspicious, as Ruben explains in this video. Here, Roblox also tries to frame him by using different kind of quotes from timestamps in his videos to stitch it together and make it look like he's bad, but they don't really have any proofs of that. And they want him to pay... 1.6 million dollars in damages and they want him to delete all social media accounts and they want him to delete all his roblox videos and his youtube channel so yeah that's very very bad roblox roblox claims here that i've broken their terms of service outside of the platform that's hilarious in spite of all the child predators that roblox has ignored because they only groom kids on discord i'm in trouble for off-platform behavior they state that I tweeted an image of one of their openly gay staff members, which has been photoshopped to depict him nude. Back in 2015, Roblox hired a social media manager while he was running a porn blog, which was completely public, showing furry porn, giant porn, Rule 34, and even nudes of himself taken outside in the middle of the desert in Death Valley, California. He was an e -celeb making regular appearances on their company's live stream, The Next Level. He made videos on this very channel criticizing Roblox for doing next to nothing when child predators groom their users over Discord. One of their own professional developers was featured in a People Make Games video sexting a 12-year-old girl while he was 24. The person you're about to hear speak is Sarah, not her real name. When Sarah first met Doc in a Discord server, Doc was 24 and he knew that Sarah was 12. He was twice this girl's age and even went as far as to offer to sneak her out of her house and take her to a motel to <gasps> And he's still the lead developer for a game that Roblox is hosting on their website right now. The Discord server where he meets these girls is still linked on the game's page. So in the end, Roblox and Ruben Sim have settled down in court, and Ruben Sim is allowed to keep everything, but he can't make any more Roblox videos. Bit of a sour win there, but hey, at least he's finally free and doesn't have to face torture from Roblox anymore. Do I wish he still plays Roblox? Yes, but it's just better to take that than just risk your life with a multi-billion dollar company in court. But that's all I got for today, so I'll see you guys next time.